Hi, good afternoon. I am Dr. Sarah Otebi. I am from uh, Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh in the USA. And um, today I've come to this meeting uh, to discuss something that's a topic that's very important to me and a condition that I treat uh, daily, and that is on infantile nystagmus syndrome. So infantile nystagmus is a common uh, condition. It's an approximately one in uh, 4,000 to one in 6,500 uh, children. And infantile nystagmus can um, develop for multiple reasons, including um, associations with retinal diseases, uh, associations with uh, ocular albinism, uh, or other neurological diseases can cause infantile nystagmus. And um, this is a condition uh, that we are now, we once were saying is untreatable, and now we realize that it is a very treatable condition. Um, we treat um, basically uh, three different uh, problems that are associated with nystagmus. The first is that a lot of the children have strabismus, which is a misalignment of the eyes. Uh, secondly, we treat the actual nystagmus, uh, the intensity um, of the nystagmus to de dampen and decrease that nystagmus. And third, a lot of the patients uh, will develop a he an abnormal head posture, and um, we are now doing surgery to help that head posture uh, so that they can be, their uh, position of their eyes can be straight ahead uh, rather than them having to turn their head, for example, to the right or down to see objects clearly. Many uh, of the old concepts of this uh, particular condition is that it is a non, not a treatable condition. Um, that they're basically, um, when children present to doctors um, that uh, are not familiar with the current treatments, uh, many of them will say, um, your baby has nystagmus and um, they may not be able to have uh, very good vision. And uh, now what we know from uh, really the eye movement recording data and studies that have been done on nystagmus is that you can improve their vision um, by simply sending them to a pediatric ophthalmologist that uh, uh, treats nystagmus. Uh, it can be treated surgically or medically um, as well. The treatments for nystagmus, um, number one, um, pediatric ophthalmology surgery uh, or strabismus surgery is applied to nystagmus to treat head postures and um, misalignments of the eyes. So that is something that many pediatric ophthalmologists are very, uh, very familiar and good with and that can be utilized to treat it. We also um, know that we are using some medications, for example, a glaucoma medicine called Azopt um, has been used uh, and I do not have a financial inference interest in uh, is opt, but it is being used to treat uh, nystagmus and dampen the eye oscillations. Um, there uh, also um, is uh, new genetic uh, therapies to treat, for example, Leber's congenital amaurosis, which is uh, associated with nystagmus. Um, there is that treatment as well. And um, so those are all the things that we're doing at the current time to help treat them, whereas before uh, we were unable to treat this condition. So I've been to a few international uh, meetings uh, thus far in my career, and what I've uh, seen that's the most significant thing from international conferences is that many um, countries uh, have different particular treatments for conditions, for example, infantile nystagmus, that aren't being utilized in other countries. And I think when we come together um, from our different countries and we meet together, we're able to share ideas um, and help uh, treat pediatric patients across uh, the world rather than um, just uh, using what we know from, from where we've trained. So I think it uh, increases the ideas that we have and uh, that's what I've noticed that occurs most at the international conferences, which is very helpful.